Breaking news. Lagos police boss speaks on investigating IPOB, Oduduwa's nation's threat. Hello, my wonderful people. And we know that even in Lagos, the rally has been, you know, has gone on. Yes, the rally has gone on even in Lagos. And even a traditional uh, monarch uh, an oba has, you know, some obas have come to associate themselves and align with themselves with the Oduduwa's Republic agitators. And I said, if they think this is a good cause, why not? If not, let's get on board and get this done. Yes, a lot of persons have seen that there is no need for us to be suffering when we can actually get things done and get things done fast. Because this country, we have leadership that do not mean well for the people. If they do, they will consider, you know, uh, Nigerians, they will consider Nigerians, you know, uh, safety and put things in pr place. Uh, Lagos police boss is saying that um, Oduduwa has been threatening. I don't know what this threat is all about, but he's promised that it's going to be investigated. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's understand what is really happening and what this threat is all about. Lagos police boss have promised to investigate IPOB and Odu's threat. <laughs> I don't know what this threat is about, so. The Lagos Police Command has reacted to threats by Odu's Republic and the indigenous Bull of Biafra IPOB agitators to disrupt law and order and attack soft targets in the state. Speaking on Monday at the Stakeholders Forum on Security, chaired by Lake Governor Lagos State, Babajide Sanwolu, at the State Secretariat, the State Police Command has signed Odu Mosun ask Lagosians not to panic over the threat. Odumosu said security agencies in the state were on top of the threat by the agitators to disrupt the peace of the state and the nation in general. The commissioner noted that 24 Yoruba separate list group have been identified and been closely monitored. We said we command, the command has taken note of agitators of Udu Republic by some Yoruba separationist group and the threat to disrupt law and order in the state. 24 such groups have been identified. We are closely monitoring and keeping a close eye on them. Similarly, the threat by IPOBs to attack soft targets in Lagos is equally being put on the radar of the command. Intelligence gathering and other security services in the state strategies are being put in place to neutralize their activities. The command is using this medium to solidize for the support of all and sundry to be vigilant at all times and report any suspicious person or movement to security agencies. Let us adopt the slogan of when you see something, say something. Given details of security effort, the do threat must be considered immediately. Saying strat strategies we are being continuously deployed in order to keep hoodlums out of the bay. He said intelligence reports available to the command review that Criminals on completed aborted are using abandoned buildings, empty lands, and hotels to plan execute their mission. We are monitoring them closely. He said abandoned vehicles also being used as elements to hide firearms, urging the government to take immediate action towards possessing such property for better security of the state. This is the new tactics. They said uh, that uh, what was happening now is that um, there are security threats coming from uh, Oduduwa's Republic. That some people from Oduduwa's Republic has threatened. I don't know how, I don't know what, but I mean, this is what they are saying that there are. They said they have reliable um, information that um, some persons have gone ahead and have, uh, I mean, and have instilled some security threats on the state, Lagos state, 
these are all stemming from you know tactics to make it look like uh the Oduduwa's republic a group of criminals just like what they are doing to ipob in the east now this is in the south and um, the police command is already laboring uh, uh, Udu's nation as criminals that they are putting out a threat to ensure that um, people are not able to go about their business, go about things the way they should. And, you know, this is what is happening right now. You can see that there is already a plan. Mm. There's a plan already on ground to ensure that people are not able, you know, to stand for what they believe. They know that the Oduduwa's nation, they say they are keeping a close eye on them. You know, uh, the agitators and all who are saying it's enough. We don't want this. We want out. They are now being threatened. Yes, they are being threatened now to say that they are being monitored. Uh, they are watching the activities, how they gather, they congregate in hotels, how they congregate, they gather and they meet, you know, in uh, 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 empty buildings, lands, that they are keeping a close eye on them. Remember the Nigerian government has declared IPOBs as criminals. They declare them as criminals not because they committed, you know, uh, before now any criminal activity, but just because they refuse, yes, to allow Fulani headsmen to live in their land and to take over their lands. That was their greatest crime. And as such, the government of Nigeria has gone ahead to label them criminals. And now... The government of Nigeria have not just labelled them criminals. The, the government has gone ahead to say that they have no rights, yes, to be able to congregate. Even in Edo State today, women, just women, no male among them, you know, we are uh, carrying out a peaceful rally, sensitizing, uh, you know, uh, the government of Edo State. They were at the palace of the Obar of Benin. Where they were, where they've gone to say, okay, let us go and inform our royal father that this is our plan, this is what we intend to do, and this is what we are doing. And guess what? They were stopped and asked to go back. Yes, the police escorted them back to their NGO, saying, "You cannot do that. You are not welcome here. Uh, you cannot do that. Why? Uh, we are afraid hoodlums may come. If you are afraid, why not give them security?" You are afraid hoodlums may want to hijack the process. What, what are you talking about? What exactly are you talking about? So the security situation of the country has made them to be very vigilant and all that. If you are vigilant, and guess what? The women say they even wrote to the police. So this is what is going on in our country. No more freedom. You know, God will really help us. So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. Bye for now.